Ladies and gentlemen, hello! Today I am bringing you a new OU battle with a slightly modified OU team and a slightly modified layout. Uh, the reason for the change in layout is because I noticed recently that I'd made a mistake in my math and I wasn't preserving the aspect ratio of the original video. I'm a real stickler for that kind of thing, it just bothers me. I don't think anyone would really notice that I changed something that's basically 15.9 into 16.9, but it bothered me. So I went ahead and shrunk both sides of the video down by 34 pixels. Um, and now the 400 by 240 aspect ratio is preserved. Uh, as for my OU team, Aegis Slash was banned, and I was grumpy about that, even though in retrospect I kind of think it was the right decision. Uh, and I was thinking I'd have to redo my whole team, but I thought, you know, before I do that, let me just try putting a Heatran on this team. So I did. I went on the showdown ladder. The team did no worse than it was doing before, so I was like, screw it. Heatran's on the team. If I have to redo this team later, I have to redo it. Uh, so, leading off first turn, I lead off with my Rotom Wash, my safest lead, as he leads off with his Venusaur, which is an excellent um, play here. Uh, I decide to Volt Switch out as he goes for the Mega, and he could have outsped if he ran any speed EVs, because I run none, uh, but if he did, that would have been very good information to have, and I don't think he could have one-shot at me with Giga Drain. So, I go ahead and switch out, and I'm going to get the switch into someone else. I decide, I think about what to do, he could go for the Sleep Powder, um, but... I don't think he's going to, and indeed he goes for the Leech Seed, which is probably his safest play. I don't actually carry Leech Seed on mine, so I'm actually wondering what um, what move he doesn't carry that I do carry. So I got into Fluffy, my Heatran. Why the name Fluffy? Because it's like the least descriptive name possible for Heatran. Man, if my Gen 4 self could see me right now, it, he'd be so pissed. I hated Heatran in Gen 4. I hated it. So here I make an excellent play, go for the Earth Power. I was thinking he might predict me to go for the Fire Blast, even though it wouldn't be super effective against his um, his Venusaur. I am modest uh, max special attack, but even that does not one hit sh a one shot Heatran, which is impressive. So I'm thinking this is probably the standard Calm set, and I probably well it's probably a Speed type because I don't run any Speed EVs. He could k uh, KO me, or he could hit me back with an Earth Power. It would not KO because I am Assault Vest. Now you might think, Assault Vest on a Heatran? What the heck are you doing, Antar? And you'd be right, Assault Vest is probably a pretty stupid item. But I don't care. I worked well in my playtesting, it's fine. So here, uh, we actually both switch out, neither of us wanting to take the um, risk the speed tie. And he goes out into his uh, Landorus as I um, go into my Rotom. I went for the Will-O-Wisp, hoping to get the residual damage on whoever was going to come out. I knew it wasn't going to be Heatran. Instead it misses, and that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and Volt Switch out here, go out into Titan Aram, my own Venusaur, and I'm hoping he's going to go for the Giga Drain or the Leech Seed. Instead, he predicts very well, goes for the Sludge Bomb, and I'm very eager to see how much this does. Does about a third, a little less than a third, I think. Uh, and so now I'm going to Mega Evolve this. He switches out. I consider what to do. I uh, didn't... I, I decided, you know, I could go for the Sleep Powder, but if he stayed in, then that would be bad. So instead I do what's probably my safest move, and that's kind of see what he's going to do by going for the Synthesis. So I go for the Synthesis, and I'm back up to full, and his Heatran is out. Now I'm pretty sure this Heatran runs no speed EVs because of how well it took that 4x effective modest Earth Power. Um, now you might be saying if it had been life orb, I would have KO'd, and you're absolutely right. But I go for the Sleep Powder here, it connects, and I put Heatran to sleep. That is excellent. And I'm thinking this is a great opportunity to do a little bit of setting up. Now you might be thinking, what setting up the heck are you talking about? Um, I don't. Ha I actually have well, the only Pokemon that I have that can set up is Talonflame, and uh, that's a bulk up set. Oh yeah, so this is what I've done with the extra 34 pixels. I have added uh, stat instead of covering up the Pokemon with um, a, a mask that indicates the status. Uh, I now put a little status bar, and I talked right over it going away because he got the first turn wake and gets the Stealth Rock up. So Talonflame's not going to like that, but Talonflame is also really used to that. It's pretty much used to living at 50% health. So he decides to switch out here. I was really hoping he would do this. And he's going to go back out into Venusaur. That is 100% okay with me because my goal here was to set up Stealth Rock. He doesn't have a spinner, and I'm pretty sure that his Staraptor is not running Defog, especially considering he's got his own rocks up. So here I decide to stay in, go for the um, go for the Stone Edge, because I just want to do some damage to this Venusaur, and I'm basically foddering Isaac. It got its rocks up, and that's basically what I needed it for this match. Now it would have it would have actually been a good um, Pokemon to have for Metagross, in some respects if it doesn't carry the um, 
the bullet punch, and definitely for Heatran. But instead, I'm just leaving it in to die, and this way I'll get a free switch out into someone else, and I'm hopefully going to get a lot of damage off on this Venusaur. I actually hit connected with Stone Edge twice, got him down to less than half. I'm very happy about that. Uh, he KOs me with a Leech Seed. Leech Seed was a, a good play in that case, in case I'd switched out. But since I don't have a spinner, I just didn't want um, Trakion to come in and suck low HP. I go now out on Stravinsky. And I don't want to overpredict, so I just go for the Brave Bird, and I'm not sure whether a non-boosted Brave Bird, uh, and I'm not Life Orb or anything, can KO a Venusaur at that range. And it can, oh thank god. I'm thinking he must be specially defensive versus physically defensive. I will put up in the annotations um, whether if, what I can tell about his EV spread from the fact that I KO'd. So Stravinsky is now taking out a huge threat. He now goes out into Heatran. And I'm thinking, if this is physically defensive, he's probably going to go... I mean, not physically defensive. This is the defensive standard set. He's probably going to go for the roar. And so I'm going to go ahead and roost. Uh, roost, and I'll, that way I'll be able to survive a round of stealth rock damage. I get up to almost full, and indeed here comes the roar. So that was an excellent play on my end. I wasn't going to KO at that range, no way. And I go out and I have my own Heatran, which is awesome. And I consider, I consider here, do I want to leave it and go for the speed tie and hope that I win it? Or do I want to switch out into someone to take the Earth Power? And aside, I really want to be safe in this match. In some previous matches I had, I was playing Reckless and it cost me a lot. Here, I just want to be safe. So I go now out into Rotom, as I'm really hoping he goes for the Earth Power. He does. So, excellent play there. And now I look at who's got left on his team. And now that Venusaur is gone, he's got no one who really wants to take a Hydro Pump. So I figure Hydro Pump should be a pretty safe move, no matter who he switches out, because I don't think he's leaving Heatran in. I just don't see it happening. He does, though, and I go for the Hydro Pump, and I am going to cleanly kill that Heatran, no problem whatsoever. So that is excellent. Um, I am now up 5-4, and I've taken out two of his big wall threats. So this is really good for me. Now out is going to come Star Raptor. This move perplexed me for a little bit. I was like, why? I mean, you know, I've got the, I mean, I've got the Volt Switch. Who doesn't have the Volt Switch or the Thunderbolt or something? He goes for the Double Edge. I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's going to kill because it's reckless. And I survive on 17. I'm actually specially defensive, not physically defensive. Um, I'm not sure if that was min damage. I'll put that up in the annotations. I go for the Volt Switch, take out Star Raptor, uh, and that is fantastic. I'm guessing that was Bandit Star Raptor. Maybe it wasn't. Um, so I get a kill, but unfortunately my health is down pretty low that if I come in later and the rocks are still up, and they're going to be up because when no one's got defoggers on this team, then Rotom is not going to be in a great position, except for if I outspeed whoever's out, which what would be Metagross, um, is the only thing that doesn't outspeed, uh, then I can paint split. So, Landorus against my Titan Aram, I think... I think, I figure I can probably take, I did actually forgot about Psychic, I'm like, oh, I could probably take the Psychic, but no, I forgot about Psychic. Now, the, I, my, I missed my Sleep Powder, which is lame, and I went, ah, oh, when that happened to no one in the room, but, um, yeah, I was, I was kind of bummed there, but at least, I was like, crap, he's now going to sweep me with Lander, so then I was like, oh, wait, uh, yeah, so I, um, so I go out into Bow, and I'm like, I'm physically defensive, not specially defensive. Sludge Wave will probably kill me, but you know what? I'm going to protect one turn, get up to full, and maybe I can get a little bit of damage off onto that Landorus. So here he goes out into his Metagross. I was actually really perplexed as to why he switched there. That was like, I was just, I scratched my head and was like, why would you switch in that position? You're in an optimal position for taking out my Sylveon. So uh, it works out well for me. And what works out even better is that he overpredicts. He thought I would go in out of my Heatran to take the um, the Meteor Mash, but instead I stay in. I'm thinking I'm physically defensive, so I could. I was pretty sure I could take one um, Meteor Mash, so I go for uh, the Wish, and this is excellent. And I'm thinking I can. I'm going to go out into Talonflame, and I'm thinking, wait, I have a win condition here. You notice I've never used the term win condition before, uh, and I, I'm. I don't know, I'm not actually sure I like this terminology, this whole winning condition thing, everyone's using it, but whatever. Uh, he goes for the Zen Headbutt, it misses, that was actually key and pivotal, uh, that that missed right there. I get it back up to full HP with that wish and some leftovers, and now I'm thinking, I think I actually am about to sweep his entire team. So I go for the bulk up here, uh, and I and I count that a plus one, I can take out Land... I, actually, I think I need to be a plus... I got a plus one, I can take out Landorus after two rounds of rocks. So here his Zen Headbutt does connect, and this is why I said uh, a little bit earlier that that Zen Headbutt miss first turn was, uh, or the earlier turn, was pivotal. 
because um, this is after a bulk up, and so before a bulk up, I'm pretty sure it will just cleanly kill me. So now I go for a second bulk up as he goes for another Zen headbutt. I, it actually misses here too, um, but all of that was going to happen if I if that hadn't happened was that I was going to roost it off. So here he's going to withdraw. You know, his, the hacks has not been in his favor, and that's sad. And now I was going to come Landers, and because Landers is his best shot to defeat me, except for now that I'm up plus two, I can cleanly kill this guy with a uh, with a Brave Bird. And it turns out I didn't even need to because he came in on the switch, and I KO'd with a Fire bl uh, uh, Flare Blitz, excuse me. And now I'm wondering whether I can survive. Uh, I, I'm wondering whether I can survive another round of recoil, depending on who he brings out next. Uh, so next out is Porthos, very much approve of the somewhat obvious name for Terrakion. Don't have to worry about it if it's sashed or anything. And so I'm just going to go for the plus two Brave Bird. It's not super effective because he's part rock type, but it's not resisted either. And I, I actually had done the calcs and seen that I was able, I would have been able to KO at plus two. So. I am actually managed. I thought he was going to sweep me with Landorus. Instead, I'm ending up sweeping him with my Talonflame, and this is exactly this is exactly why Talonflame is so incredible. Uh, that priority Brave Bird, um, coupled with Flare Blitz for awesome coverage against slower opponents, and he goes ahead and resigns here. I don't blame him. Flaming Axel, that was an excellent battle, uh, and you know you've swept me more times than I've swept you, so. Uh, folks, I really hope you enjoyed this battle. I hope you enjoy the slightly modified layout. I hope to show it off a little bit more when, in a battle with more statuses. Um, and that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.